special counsel Robert Mueller's team is preparing to go to trial against former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort. Manafort is accused of dozens of crimes not associated with his time running the president's election efforts. Manafort himself had been free on bail while he was preparing to defend himself, but that all changed on Friday. Correspondent Kenneth Craig has the latest. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort spent the night in this Warsaw, Virginia jail, and he will be there for many nights to come. Manafort appeared in court Friday where a federal judge revoked his bail. A grand jury found sufficient probable cause that he was trying to tamper with witnesses. Manafort and his Russian business partner allegedly asked European contacts to testify that their lobbying work did not take place in the U.S. He will now remain in jail until his trial on dozens of charges, including financial fraud, money laundering, and making false statements. Judge Amy Berman Jackson ruled that jail was her only choice, saying, this is not middle school. I can't take away his cell phone. I have no appetite for this. You know, Paul Manafort worked for me for a very short period of time. President Trump distanced himself a bit from the man who headed his campaign for almost five months, but also stuck up for him, suggesting that Manafort's alleged crimes are too old to prosecute. They've gone back 12 years to find things about somebody, and... I don't think it's right. Friday evening, the president also tweeted that the judge's decision to put Manafort in jail was a tough sentence and added, didn't know Manafort was the head of the mob. Sources tell CBS News that Manafort is banking on a presidential pardon in order to stay out of jail for the rest of his life. Kenneth Craig for CBS 3 Eyewitness News.